Hello and welcome to the BD5000 tutorial video. Firstly, we're going to start by installing the filters. These are the aluminium discs that stay at the bottom of the pots which stop the filters sticking and allowing the flow through the filters. Once securely placed, we're going to fasten the lids to the top. So each pot lid has a prefabricated groove that the seal fits into. These filters are specifically designed to remove water and particulate from oil. As I'm fastening the lids to the pots, I'm just going to quickly run over the unit. The inlet and the outlet are located here. Now these are one half inch BSP. Behind the pump, which you can't see at this stage of the video, there's a start-stop switch. Around the pump you will be able to see the pipework with a valve fitted. Now this is a bypass valve which opens at 4 bar once the filters are blocked. If the pump was to trip, then there is a red reset button located here just to reset the pump. Using a 13mm spanner or socket set like I'm using, we can tighten the filters securely. Now you want to secure them opposite, make sure you're tightening them parallel. We're going to start by powering up the unit and this happens to be a 240 volt unit. So before we engage we're going to make sure it's safe and everything's prepped. Each unit is provided with a set of lancers and a suction strainer that's protecting the pump. And these are the half inch BSP hoses that are also included. They are three meters. So by hand we can connect the hoses and then just tighten up with a 27 mil spanner. But remember not to over tighten. Once the hoses are connected, we're going to transfer the oil in the tank on the ground up to the glass tank on the bench. Once we have transferred the oil into the glass tank, we will add 200 milliliters of water to the 100 liters of oil and then demonstrate the use of the BD5000 to remove the water. Once we're happy that the hoses are tight and secure, we can engage the pump. This will begin the transfer process. The full process takes quite a while, so we're going to speed up the rest of the video. This is around about a 30 minute video that's been sped up. The water has now been added as we can see from the cloudiness of the oil. The inlet and the outlet hoses have been added into the tank so the contaminated oil can recirculate through the filters to make it clean and dry. This might take a few passes depending on the amount of water in the oil or fuel. If we keep an eye on the submerged hoses we can see the clarity improve as the water is removed. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you've got any questions please be sure to give us a call.